If you've been a space fan for the past 5 to 10 years, you remember how it used to be? We could just type stuff like scale model solar system sets and find at least half a dozen sellers. But in the past few years, something weird's been happening. I've been online looking for accurate solar system sets and found nothing. Sure, there are kits that you can paint yourself, but those don't really count. I'm talking about sets with accurate textures and sizes. It's like all the companies have evaporated. There are at least a few left. These plushies from Crafts Nebula might be one of the last companies left actually making quality products for us space fans. This video is not sponsored, but I got this impressive set for Christmas. Now before I talk about these, we're going to take a look at why these sets are becoming extinct, why it's getting harder to find an accurate set to collect, and what's left in the market. Accurate solar system sets are genuinely becoming a rarity. You aren't imagining this. Since 2020, digital STEM tools have been exploding, but the physical sets we grew up with have almost vanished. Even major toy store retailers like Toys R Us are just gone. And I'm not even talking about accurate ones, this is just physical solar system sets in general. Take a look at these juggernauts of space products that once ruled the market but now are no more. Astro Reality. I did a review on these guys, but they shut down in December 2023 due to things not going so well with the AR providers. Even their app is unavailable to download, and they don't even own their own website domain anymore. Celestial Rocks. I reviewed their bifurcated set. They sold through Shapeways, which has since stopped serving 3D models. However, if you still have the set, their ring templates are still up for download. Little Planet Factory. For me, this is a big one, because their products were in the beginnings of my channel. I couldn't find anything about why they went out of business or when exactly they closed, but it must have been sometime before 2018. Their Etsy page has no items listed, and their website is now just a pure white screen. So why is this happening? Now, I don't have any concrete answers, but I do have a few possible theories. My first theory. In 2020, the pandemic basically forced a shift to make simple educational space apps with ads over producing and shipping physical sets. My second theory. Even though 3D printing material prices have come down, the resolution and detailed textures required for the to-scale solar systems are too expensive to produce. Combine that with a niche market and too few sales is just a recipe for business and- My third theory. Many young teens interested in space lack the money, and few adults are likely to be interested. For example, I say small. stars are small. Is the sun bigger than the moon? And then there's stars around the planet. We are not astrology majors. Which leaves the younger kids who prefer colorful, stimulating plastic or plush products. My fourth theory. Educational STEM and collectible products are taking over the toy market, and things like scale solar system sets are too niche to be valuable enough of collectibles and not engaging enough for education. My final theory. As older sets are disappearing, there's almost nothing left for the nostalgia factor, which may be creating a declining interest in space products, leading to decreased demand and less sets that have genuine quality being produced. Overall, I feel the cost to make these things is just too high to profit from, and this is likely due to decline interest, poor marketing, and a shift towards educational and STEM products. There are other trends like Legofication, where everything is turning into Lego, and Kidulting, where adults do and buy things that are typically meant for kids. And I feel the saddest part is that as one company falls, this will probably discourage a whole bunch of other companies from continuing their production. What's left in the market and why? Now, I'm not going to cover painted kits, sugar-coated children's kits, orries, that kind of stuff. Remember, we're talking about quality collectibles. Celestial Buddies. They've been featured on my channel many times and are a long-standing company. They sell great products and are run by great people. I feel they continue to be successful because they saw the trend of educational products and jumped on that train. And that's the reason why I feel they haven't introduced any new buddies lately. They don't have to. Mova Globes. Another long-standing company which I featured on this channel. They have high-quality printed textures, quite a few options, and are gorgeous. But they are very expensive. There is also a longevity issue that we gotta be aware of though. My personal experience with my Jupiter Mova Globe has resulted in a non-functional globe with missing water. The reason I feel they're still around is because they sell a very unique product and are aimed towards a wider audience that isn't just space fans. Etsy. There are lots of shops on the Etsy platform that create handmade or 3D printed products. Snapspheres is a shop that seems to make quality products. I reached out to them for a sample to review, but haven't heard back yet. However, they have been on Etsy for five years and are selling high volumes, so there's no reason to think they'll go away anytime soon. Shops like Snapspheres typically have high-priced solar system sets with expensive shipping, but they're usually pretty well done. 
Here's some honorable mentions I've decided to include. The Ravensburger 3D puzzles. Some beach ball sets. This pack of stress balls. The ceiling orrery. And some marbles and stones. None of these sets are to scale or in true color, but they still have good quality. In all my years of looking at solar system sets, I have yet to find one that's true color. I think it's safe to say that there are no scale solar system sets anymore. Which brings me back to this rare hero, Crafts Nebula. They were on Etsy known as Night Shift Arts, but separated and went on their own. They specialize in 4 inch and 10 inch plushies, and they have decent enough textures. However, the sheer amount of celestial objects they have available is like nothing I've seen. Like where else can you find Ton618 or Wasp12B? What's even better is that they recently dropped a new collection on November 17th, 2025. So they're actively expanding while everyone else is scaling back. Why am I pushing for Crafts Nebula even though I'm not sponsored by them? It's because what they sell is really rare and I've genuinely never seen these kinds of things before. These aren't mass produced in the millions and once they're gone, there's no guarantee that this small company will restock. By supporting a company like Crafts Nebula, you're voting to keep physical space products alive. I just want to see them get support from space fans so that they continue to make these for years to come. And I want you guys to be able to hold a piece of space before it's too late. If you know of any others, please, I want to be wrong. I don't want this video to be true. Please post them down in the comments, please. We want you to save space products.